Okay, so the first thing you do is you go to the link that's on your AP Bio website. And then you get here. And the first thing I want you to do is go to Options and take off the annoying sounds and the transitions. That's just going to make it go faster. Go back to the activity. Uh, go through the steps that it says to go through. We always select our female to be normal. Our male, I'm going to start with sepia eye color, which is SE. That's the one I'm going to do for my first cross as my example to you. And I'm just going to go through the motions here. And I'll go through the motions really quickly because I'm starting to get used to how this thing works. Maybe not. There we go. Sort them out. Once I get my data, um, you know, I can start to go through the handout a little bit. So the uh, monohybrid cross, trait one, A, the name of the mutant trait that I'm doing is mutant is sepia eyes. The symbol for the mutant trait is SE. The phenotype for C, the phenotype of the female was wild type, or I'll call, I can call it red eyes as well. Um, the phenotype for the male was sepia eyes. What about the genotype for the female? That's plus plus, right? Always going to be plus plus. And the genotype for the male is homozygous recessive. Um, we're assuming that that other one is a recessive trait, and the wild type is always make, is always dominant. So the male in this case is going to be S E S E. So what do I get if I did a Punnett square to the right? If I did a Punnett square of a homozygous dominant crossing with a homozygous recessive. I'm always going to get 100% heterozygous, right? And if they're heterozygous, what do I expect the phenotype to be? Dominant in all cases. So I always expect it to be wild type. So how many are wild type in this example that I have here? All of them. So my expected is 100%. What did I actually get? 100%. I don't actually need to analyze this, but I will. Anyway, I put data sent to computer. Yes, I'm going to go to analyze results. I'm always going to hit this button here, ignore sex. Not always, in case I want to see if it's a sex link thing. But I will go to ignore sex for now. And I'll do a chi-square analysis. So I expected 100% to be wild type. There was 1,211 offspring, so I expected 1,211 to be wild type. I'll go to test this hypothesis, and obviously I get a chi-squared of zero. Uh, meaning there's a 0% chance that... Uh, I got this data because of chance, basically, that I'm getting really significant results. So my level of significance is uh, 1.0. So how do I write that on my sheet? Well, for D, what was the phenotype, uh, wild type? The numbers were 1,211. What was my ratio? I would just mark that as 1. And then for E, uh, your chi-square analysis support this? Yeah, it did. My chi-square or my... Um, level of significance both show me that the data here was significant. So the Punnett square predicted 100% wild type and I got 100%. So I, on this what I would basically do is just write my chi-square number and write my level of significance. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to return to my menu. I'm going to go back to the lab. I'm going to go back to the microscope and I'm going to do another cross. I'm going to do an F2 cross of these guys. So I zoom in, do my mating, do it on the other side. Return to the lab, click on my new mating jar, sort them out again, and I get my new flies. Now, um, if you go to the back side of the monohybrid cross sheet, F, it says draw your proposed Punnett square for the parental cross generating the F2 offspring. So first it says phenotype. Well, it's going to be red by red or wild by wild. Okay. Genotype is going to be plus SE for both of them. It's going to have one plus allele and one SE allele for both of them. If I did my cross, my Punnett square, if I cross two heterozygous with each other, what do I expect as my expected phenotype? A three to one ratio. Three dominant to one recessive. Because I'll have 25% homozygous dominant, 50% heterozygous, 
and only 25% homozygous recessive. 25% homo uh, homozygous recessive are the only ones that are going to have sepia eyes. So if I look at my data, I'm expecting to get 75% wild type, 25% non-wild type. I can go through and do the math, or I could just send the data to the computer, which I'm going to do. Hit analyze results. I'm going to hit ignore sex because I only want to compare the phenotypes, not the phenotypes of each gender. What did I get? I got 937 and 276. You can see the proportions. I could just fill that in um, on G, uh, for number G, letter G, sorry. For phenotype, the plus or wild type, I got 937. And the ratio was 0.7725. Sepi eyes, it was 276, and I got 0.2225. Uh, is this, we have to do a chi-square analysis now to see if this is right. So I'll click on chi-square analysis. I got 937. How many did I expect it to be wild type? 75%, right? So I could just go in and find that right now. Number in. I test my hypothesis, and I get a chi-squared number of 3.03, .03. and my level of significance is 0 0.084. Again, it's not less than 0 0.05, therefore um, this data looks pretty good. So, I can go back to my original data. I can return to the lab. I can shoot all this stuff out. I can try another one. Uh, this time I'm going to try a, just for the fun of it, I'm going to try a yellow body. So I'm going to order flies. I'm going to do a regular male. And this time my body color is yellow. I'm not going to go through all the steps again like I did last time. I'll just go through it really fast. So I have them in this mating jar. I sort them out. I ended up getting all wild type again, which was no surprise. Uh, but this time when I do my uh, F2 cross, I get something a little more interesting. And what that is, is I notice that I only have three piles. I notice that I don't have any female. I don't have any females with yellow bodies. Only the males have yellow bodies. So from this, I can send data to my computer. I could do an analysis again, and as it turns out, I end up getting the right ratio it comes out to be pretty much the same, but since I know I don't have any female yellow bodies, I know that this um, allele is likely on the X chromosome. Okay, and the reason the females aren't showing this is because the females have an extra copy of the X chromosome that has a normal copy, okay? The males only have the one X chromosome, so they're more likely to get this yellow body. It'd be similar to color blindness, yes. Okay. Um, there are some diseases actually that only appear on the Y chromosome as well, so those would only appear in male. Okay. I so you can see I'm not always going to get the perfect three to one ratio. In this case, I still do get a good three to one ratio. Um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm noticing the data. If I ignore sex, you see I'm still getting my three to one ratio. But uh, by looking at my data, it's pretty obvious that there's something going on there. And then if I look at the bottom of my monohybrid cross, sex, uh, section K, is the trait X-linked or autosomal? In this case, I would know it's X-linked. It's not autosomal. Why are you laughing, Layla? Edit. <laughs>